Today on The Gold Standard. The election, Dave, uh, I think it shows a lot of confusion. I'm part of the voters. I don't think voters know who to believe as to the really important issues that are, that are challenging us. I don't know how we could have an administration that has historical low, low numbers, but not really too much change when it comes to governors and House and, uh, and Senate. I find that a little bit peculiar and amazing. This is the Gold Standard from Midas Gold Group with Kenneth Russo. Hello, I'm Dave Dino. Welcome to the Gold Standard, your source for secure investment opinion and information on the advantages of purchasing and owning precious metals. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced collector, this is the program that gives you a realistic weekly perspective on the state of the economy, reliable information about using precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum to safeguard your wealth, and remarkable details about specific precious metal coins and bullion. Ken Russo is a senior vice president at Midas Gold Group, and his peers characterize him as a straight shooter who will work harder for you than anyone else. Ken, it's a pleasure to join you again this week. Nice to join you as always, Dave. Let the games begin. Yes, indeed. Our topic is election results and the collapsing economy. Ken, let's start with some economic news. First, the latest GDP figures have been released, and America is still suffering record high inflation of 7.7%. And even though that is just a bit lower than last month's figure, it still means that Gas prices continue to be high. Groceries are still a lot more expensive than household budgets can afford. And credit card and mortgage interest rates are the highest they've been since the Carter years. All in all, regardless of what the so-called experts have to say, the U.S. economy is continuing its tailspin. Yeah, Dave, you know, there's a lot of ways out there where they're uh, stealing our money. Right. Mm. Through uh, inflation, through taxes, through these increased costs in living. And I find it comical. I find it uh, that these people are just totally out of touch, Dave, with, with what's going on with the uh, everyday living expenses and the uh, everyday American that's out there that's just trying to get by. Uh, the only thing they want to do is, is promote their services and promote the markets and promote the... Uh, idea to stay in the banking system with our money. But I mean, let's let's look at a real life example. I was I was talking to you about this last week. Filet mignon steak, Dave, it was $23.99 a pound a year, year and a half ago at a Whole Foods market. Now it's $33.99 a pound. Wow. Now that's a huge increase, right? 40, 50% increase. Now, if inflation is basically over, according to these people, right, which we hear over and over again, then I guess that we could expect to go back to the grocery store any day now and the price of steak will be back down to $23.99 a pound, right? The rate of inflation, like you and I have been talking about for a long time, may slow from time to time. But prices are going to continue to increase, which in turn means that our money is going to continue to buy less and less and less. And when we talk about that, Dave, uh, decisions about our money, We have to talk about gold because gold is the only form of real money that holds your purchasing power. It's been doing it for thousands of years. It's its role. These people have no incentive to talk about gold because it's not part of the banking system. They can't generate fees uh, on trading gold. Mm -hmm. So they would more or less not talk about it. But in essence, Dave, when we're talking about our purchasing power and these delusional people that want our money to control their system and to run their system, we have to talk about how do we hold on to what we've worked so hard for. And that's where gold comes into play, Dave. Ken, that's going to lead me into today's topic, election results and the collapsing economy. I saw a report prior to the election anticipating the expected red wave that said Wall Street would react with a rally. Well, the red wave ended up being nothing more than a red ripple, and Wall Street, the very day after, took a dive. It's recovered a little bit, but economists are very wary of that. It really would seem that this is maybe just another sign that paper money is going to continue to lose its value. We talked about this before, even on prior shows, and of course, 
we want certain people to run our country that we can be proud of. We want certain people to run our country that will protect our border and protect our children and and have certain policies that will uh, not spend as much. But when it all comes down to it, they're just going to print and spend because this whole system, no matter who's in charge or who's who's in, you know, Republicans or Democrats, whoever's running the House or the Senate or, or the or the administration, they're all going to spend. They're all going to figure out different ways to, to print money because we have a system since 1971, which is the starting point of all of this, Dave, that's addicted to spending and it's addicted to debt and it's addicted to money that we don't even have. We don't even have money. Where, where's the money that's even going to be, pay the interest mm-hmm. on our debt? Mm-hmm. I mean, we talk about all this debt, which is $31 trillion, and it's probably $90 trillion when we talk about corporations, consumers, and government here mm-hmm. in the United States. It's over $300 trillion when it's, when it's global. We're talking about de- a derivative market Dave, that could be over two quadrillion dollars. I mean, if wow. if people want to see a big number, type quadrillion into into <laughs> Google or your search engine and see how that looks. These numbers, Dave, are impossible to overcome from. This debt will never be paid. The system will eventually crash, no matter who's running it, because the debt load and the interest rate load is so heavy. I mean, and and we're also in an environment where the economy is bad. And what are they doing? They're raising interest rates dramatically. So everything that's going on, Dave, which you're reading about, the election results, the collapsing economy, the lies about inflation, they've been lying for over a year saying that Mm. inflation was transitory. It's what else are they going to say? This is a sinking ship. Mm -hmm. Our financial Mm -hmm. system, Dave, is a sinking ship. And what could we do as individuals so that when it does sink, and it will, what could we do so that we're not financially ruined? And one of the easiest things to do, Dave, that you and I have been speaking about every week at nauseum is take some of your assets from the bank, take some of your assets from your old 401k or your uh, current IRAs, convert it into, into a tangible asset like gold and like silver that has historically, Dave, been there through financial crisis, been there through economic collapse, been there through fiat money devaluation, which is exactly what's going on. Our money is being devalued all the time. Something that we know, no matter what, will at least be worth something, something that we can count on to be there for us and for our family, Dave. A reminder here, you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And today, our topic is election results and the collapsing economy. Ken, let's look at the alternative. And I know that You're not an I told you so kind of guy, but Ken, you told us so. And you have been encouraging people to safeguard what they have in cash reserves or investment accounts by moving, as we just heard, a substantial portion of those over into physical gold to keep from losing any more. Well, that's right, Dave, you know, and it's very important, you know, and like I said, we're talking about just our money. There's a lot of important things that are going out there that are very upsetting and very important uh, to this country and to uh, our values as a veteran owned company. There is a big difference between holding on to fiat currency and and holding on to gold. I mean, let's consider if you had a hundred thousand dollars in the bank uh, and you um, you opened an account 20 years ago mm-hmm. and that hundred thousand uh, dollars at the bank today with with interest and you know allowing the bank to do whatever you want with your money maybe has a balance of a hundred and three hundred and four thousand dollars let's mm-hmm. just you know say ballpark figure but what does that hundred and three or hundred and four thousand dollars buy, Dave, in purchasing power? Maybe forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars worth of stuff, which mm-hmm. it could have bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff twenty years ago. That's how our paper money loses purchasing power. On the other hand, if you had put your money into gold twenty years ago instead of fiat money, uh, you put it into a tangible asset, gold, which the bank and the advisors have obviously no incentive to tell you about or, or to tell you what to do, that hundred thousand dollars in gold would be worth four or five hundred thousand dollars today. Wow. That's a huge that's a huge difference. The price of gold has doubled every seven years, Dave, since nineteen seventy one and the US debt has doubled every eight years since nineteen seventy one. Pretty 
pretty close uh, relationship. And mm-hmm. now the debt situation and the spending situation is going out of control. It's going exponential. Who knows where the price of gold and silver could be five, 10 years from now. But we all know what the value of our paper money after this economy is reset, after our money is reset, after the financial system is reset. We don't know what it's going to buy our money. We don't know how much it's going to be worth. And that's scary. And in, in our opinion, not necessary to face that risk. It's unnecessary to be in that situation where you're uh, just going to be caught from the blind side. You can take some of those funds. You can move it into something that like we've been talking about, like gold, gold coins and gold bars that will be here for you until you or your family needs it. And based on the track record of gold, Dave, it should be substantially higher in the next five or 10 years. Not the reason why people should do it. Gold is not a get rich scheme, Dave, but it should be substantially higher because all of these fiat currencies, these paper currencies that they just print out of thin air, all of their values, Dave, and they're all toxic, they're all garbage. All of the values of the fiat currencies, including the US dollar, over the next five or 10 years will be a lot lower than it is today. Our money, Dave, our paper money will continue to buy a lot less in the future. That is a very sobering warning. And we're going to continue our topic, election results and the collapsing economy, just a little later in the program. And we'll highlight several other tangible ways that you can convert your wealth into the security of gold. But first, A reminder that you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And coming up, we're going to look at a specific precious metal that you can use to safeguard your wealth. And that's coming up right after this. The Fed lied when they initially said inflation was transitory. They knew it wasn't, but didn't want to panic the markets and you the people. This is why they tried to keep secret the $125 trillion in loads they gave banks around the world. We've seen inflation ramping up and Midas Gold Group thinks the Fed is way behind the curve with interest rates. Venezuela is the case study when political policies go awry and chaos ensues. It's time to call Midas Gold Group, 805 601 one six thousand. You can add financial privacy and protection from inflation and profit potential to your investments through physical gold and silver. They provide you with the quality service and critical information you need without the pushy salesman. Get your portfolio reset with gold and silver. Call Midas Gold Group for their guide to owning bullion and coins today. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-4653 or MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of The Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. And our topic today is election results and the collapsing economy. By the way, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, we encourage you to come visit our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com. M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, just call us directly at 855-322-GOLD. I hope you'll write that down, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. Now, it's time for, as I always say, and it's true, one of my favorite portions of the program. It is our featured precious metal product of the week, and today... Ken, let's talk about the gold American eagle. Can you give us a quick description of this very popular gold coin? Yeah, sure, Dave. And remember, trading hours are 8 to 4 Pacific time, Monday through Friday for Midas Gold Group traders. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if people call in off hours, we'll call you back no later than the next trading day. So be patient. We get a lot of requests, but we're we're more than happy to, uh, to call people back just as soon as we can. But yeah, Dave, the gold eagle is a... It's a mainstay. It's uh, my favorite gold coin. Mm. It's uh, minted in 22 karat gold, which means it's 9167 fine. The Eagle is extremely durable, Dave. It's strongly resistant to scratching. This coin, Dave, uh, is also the largest gold coin struck by the U.S. Mint, and um, its purity is guaranteed by the American government. The Mint makes very, very nice products when it comes to the uh, U.S. coins, the Buffalo and the and the Eagle are fantastic. Mm-hmm. And the Eagle in the 
is actually a little bit more uh, than an ounce, Dave. It's a 22 karat gold because it, it contains a little silver and a little copper. Mm. It features the iconic Walking Liberty design of Augustus St. Gauden on the front. That means uh, that the front of the coin, Dave, hasn't changed since 1907. Mm. It has the same design on it. The reverse-sided coin, Dave, uh, is a striking love scene between two noble members of our national avian species. It's a bald eagle bringing an olive branch to the nest of a mother female guarding her hatchling babies. And remember last year in 2021, they also came out with a type two American gold eagle, Dave, where it's just the side profile of the eagle's Mm -hmm. head. Uh, But the eagle is the preferred government issued coin of American investors, Dave. The premium on this coin has been expanding dramatically as well as the silver eagle because they only make so many. And with the huge demand of uh, people of investors trying to get out of paper assets, the gold American Eagle continues to appreciate and will appreciate, in our opinion, for many, many years to come, especially over the next year or two. Ken, what is it that makes this such a popular gold coin? The coin has assured quality, Dave. It's, It's stated by law that the American Eagle bullion coin cannot be manufactured with gold mined outside of the United States. Mm. It's in high demand. It means a steady market. Demand is constantly growing for the gold American Eagle and for gold itself as people continue to lose faith in the financial system and in in paper money that we have and in our leadership that we have. Currently, people are very scared about what their money is going to be able to buy a few years from now or what their investments will be worth. You're seeing what's going on in the stock market and the uh, cryptocurrency fiasco where billions of dollars just disappear, poof, right into into money heaven, right, Dave? And lastly, with the gold uh, American Eagle, it's it's just a a stunning coin. It it represents the characteristics of of what American spirit should be. It's a symbol of pride. Uh, We're very, very, very proud to be Americans and to carry American values. And um, the gold American Eagle, if you're looking for that within your gold investments, the gold American Eagle coin is exactly that, Dave. It's very American. It's very patriotic. And at this particular moment with our money system, it's very smart. It is one that I am proud to own, both in gold and in silver as well, I might mention. And coming up in a moment, We're going to continue our topic of election results and the collapsing economy with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And that's coming up right after this. Dr. Sebastian Gorka here. Do you have confidence in our government? I don't. So why would you put your full faith and credit in them and the dollar? Do not confuse the dollar, which is only a debt instrument, with actual money. Real money has intrinsic value, such as gold. The dollar is not backed by gold, so you know what that means. Time to call veteran-owned Midas Gold Group, 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD, or MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of the Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino, and our topic today is election results and the collapsing economy. Now, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, you have an advantage because you can actually come and visit our local office and meet with us in person, even see some of the product that we talk about on the air. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, Midas Gold Group. Dot com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. Call us. Now, let's return to our topic, election results in the collapsing economy. Ken, from your perspective, what do you make of the results of the midterm elections? Well, just as confused and upset probably as a lot of other people that are out there, Dave, you know, for for a variety of reasons. But um, what I also wanted to mention was, yeah, I mean, if you don't live in the Phoenix area or the Los Angeles area, call in because I don't want to hear, well, I couldn't make it into the office, so I was unable to protect myself and now my money's gone. I, I don't want to hear that. The, the phone is perfectly capable of we can do business, you can trust us, and we'll walk you through the whole uh, situation. And don't forget, folks, anything that you receive gold or silver wise is physical 
tangible. It'll be delivered right to you. So nothing is uh, is paper. But the election, Dave, uh, I think it shows a lot of confusion. I'm part of the voters. I don't think voters know who to believe as to the really important issues that are that are challenging us. I don't know if we could trust the uh, results. I don't know how we could have an administration that has historical low, low numbers, but not really too much change when it comes to governors and House and uh, and Senate. I find that a little bit peculiar and amazing, actually, mm-hmm. but it, it is what it is. I think it just goes back to the fact that people um, believe and uh, people don't you know, understand what's happening and, and uh, people are just not making smart decisions. I, mm-hmm. I, I just feel that way. And you know that we're at Midas Gold Group, we're veterans. I mean, we, we know the American dream, the uh, American ideal. This country is headed in the wrong direction in every possible way. And uh, obviously we're talking about money, but that American ideal has been lost in a lot of the, you know, woke rhetoric that's flooding our news media. Um, you have organizations that have infiltrated our, our corporations and our government that, you know, in my opinion, don't have the best interests of, of this country in mind. And they've, um, they've flooded social media platforms. They flooded the, uh, the media and our news. It's uh, very difficult to see the truth. And, um, we only see a certain aspect of what's going on. And, uh, it's very evident that certain people have become now hated. And I think we all know who we're talking about. Mm. And it's caused people to, uh, to, to vote a certain way. And uh, people have lost faith in our, in our past and in our current leaders. We see their actions almost on a daily basis that cause us to think and scratch our heads and say, well, what are these people doing? I mean, is it, is it that bad? But it is. And it's embarrassing and it's upsetting. I just don't know what the answer is. And obviously we can get the right people in, in, in office that have American values and, and have this country's best interests in mind with some of the things that we talked about and that can set a, a damn good example for us and for our children. And God willing, we'll be headed into that direction soon. But I don't understand that we're the greatest country in the history of, of this world, this, this civilization as, as we know it. And with the example that's being set in every way is disturbing and upsetting and unacceptable. And it is in this climate that guarding one's financial resources, it becomes even more important. You still have an opportunity, Dave, as an investor to take some of your risk out of the equation Get some money out of cash, get some money out of the bank, get some money out of the markets, get some money out of your retirement accounts. And instead of being invested in stocks and mutual funds and annuities and money markets and all these other bank paper asset instruments, get the only thing, the only form of real money that has survived for thousands of years and will continue to do the same over the next few years. Yes, we're talking about, Dave, the old, the boring you know, uh, (laughs) gold, the old boring gold, which will be there for you when you need it. And according to its track record, will be worth a lot more in dollars because it's not that the price of gold goes up, Dave. It's that the value of our paper money goes down. And then the value of the gold reflects that lost value in our paper money. That is going to bring us to the end of our time together here on the Gold Standard today with Ken Russo, brought to you by Midas Gold Group. And a reminder... Opinions given are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. For answers to your questions, call Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. And the website is Midas Gold Group. Dot com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. The Midas Gold Group is proud to be America's number one veteran-owned gold dealer, supporting veterans' causes with a portion of profits donated to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Semper Fi Fund. So your investment in your future is also an investment in the future of those who have bravely served the cause of freedom. 
Again, the number to call to speak directly with Midas Gold Group is 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. Ken, thank you again for your time today. Yeah, my pleasure, Dave. Talk to you soon. I'm Dave Dino, inviting you to join us again next week at this same time for another edition of The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard was brought to you by the Midas Gold Group.